Hey guys, I thought I'd start the year off by talking about a new toy collectible I have, and that is the new Morpher from the new Power Rangers film. If you've been watching my videos previously, you'll know that I'm a big Power Rangers fan. I'm sure you can see some stuff behind me. And you know my daughter's also a big fan, so we're really excited about the new film. Uh, I actually put a review or uh, a reaction video of the new costumes a few months ago, so be sure to click that link to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But for the most part, it's been pretty exciting. It's got some new changes and differences, and as a longtime fan myself, it's kind of weird, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. My little one is really, really looking forward to it. But when the new Morphers came out in stores, I really couldn't say no to it. It's kind of interesting and I really want to take a look at it and I thought I'd share looking at it with you because it is different but at the same time it does play on the nostalgia. Now in the film a lot of things are different. The, the, the costumes are different, the Zords are pretty much completely wacky but overall it's still the Power Rangers, it's still the five Ranger colors, Rita Repulsa still the enemy, they still have Power Coins, Zordon's still there, all these things that are touchstones to the classic series of the Japanese Zoo Ranger that we brought here for Power Rangers is still there. And that's, and that's, I think, an important thing. So things like the props and the costumes obviously are the things I really care about and the props are always something I'm a sucker for. I'm a sucker for props. And I really can't wait to see how the film handles this. But for now, we just have the toys. And the toy is pretty cool. The neat, the first thing you're gonna notice about it is that it's, it's huge, even as, a, as an adult. Um, as a kid, this thing would be massive. As a quick comparison, here is the Legacy Morpher, comparatively. It's, it's quite a bit different in size. The Power Coins are probably, well actually, the new Power Coins are a little bit smaller than the old ones. But, yeah. But right away, you can actually see, even just here, you can see kind of the relationship between the old design to the new one. Lately, Alien Tech has been more organic and, and different, not so hard or futuristic or even earthy. So by going away from the original Morphers blockiness to this more uh, organic look is definitely a step towards that new aesthetic that we're, we're getting used to. The power coins themselves, you can really see the dinosaurs through them. So all the dinosaurs are the same and that's pretty interesting as well. The Morpher itself is fun. It has noise and sounds. I'm gonna turn it on here so you can hear it. There you go. And it's got a ratchet effect. So you open these up and you get an iris going. And this sound that goes, very creepy, very alien. Take the coins, pop it in, lock. And, I, and I, presumably you're morphed at that point. All the coins act the same. There's no special sounds or gestures for any of them, but it goes through and it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. So my thoughts is that's gonna be a pretty quick morph. Overall, that's pretty much all it does. Um, I did find that if you, if you rush a lot, it does a different sound effect. I have no idea what that is. So I don't know if, the, if that's actually the motion. It's like a wind up motion. I don't know how they're gonna use these in the film. I was gonna say it's morphin time and then pull it out. I don't know. It, it works It works for what it is. Um, but, but yeah, I actually, I do like it. I am interested to see what they do with it in the film. I, I, I do like the new coins. They're not actual physical metal coins. They have this like alien texture on them. And that's to me is pretty nifty. It, it, is seem, it does seem more alien so the props got me on that for sure. If you guys are looking to pick up one, definitely check out Toys R Us and any toy stores. Uh, there's several vendors online. Uh, be sure to ask me down below if you have any questions about it. What, did, what do you think? What do you guys think about it? Are you excited about the new movie? Are you? Do you like the new props? So one thing about a, a bad movie, a good movie, doesn't mean that necessarily that the props are bad and the costumes are horrible. Uh, Avatar Airbender movie is a great example of that. Now the props are gorgeous. The props and the costumes are amazing. Movie on the other hand, whole other matter. Guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to click that link at the end of the video. But as always, thanks for watching.